Hello, my name is Gabriel Duque. I was born and raised in Cuba, and today I am here to ask for help for the Cuban people. In only three days, on November 15th, the people of Cuba plan to protest around the island in peaceful protests in several cities where they plan to ask for the release of political prisoners, the end of violence and repression, and to find a way to transition into a free and democratic society. The military dictatorship that today rules the island has already deemed this march as illegal. This is why I'm asking for every free government in the world, every diplomat, every human rights organization, every journalist, every media outlet to put their eyes on Cuba to find ways to help and shine a light. I am trying to sound the alarm, the alarm that I had sounded before, but I'm trying to find the loudest way to sound these alarms because I'm really worried. I am asking you as well as an individual to find ways to help. This isn't just a Cuban problem. The long arms of the Cuban dictatorship have reached us all and will continue to do so if we allow it to survive. They have funded guerrillas in Latin America to overthrow freely elected governments. They are directly responsible for what happened in Venezuela, a country with the largest oil reserves in the world. An example of a successful economy is today one of the poorest in the world, thanks to what the Cuban dictatorship created through Chavez and now Maduro. The now clear dictator in Nicaragua Daniel Ortega was brought back to power following direct orders from Cuba, from Havana. He recently held sham elections where all his uh, dissidents were thrown in jail, so he had no opposition at the elections. Even the president of Mexico recently invited the new dictator of Cuba, Diaz Canel, as a as an honorable guest to the celebration of independence in Mexico. Our neighbor to the south is good friends with this guy who holds their people slave. The Cuban dictatorship has funded extremist political organizations in Spain and Italy. They put spies everywhere, including the White House. So when the people of Cuba on Monday come out to fight for their freedom, they're also fighting for your freedom. Because when freedom is attacked anywhere, freedom is attacked everywhere. And I know that oftentimes it's overwhelming. There are so many problems around the world that we feel that we can't possibly help everywhere. However, thousands, perhaps millions of people are going to put everything on the line on Monday. And all I'm asking you to do is to take a few minutes of your time, share this video, reach out to media outlets, reach out to your politicians and shine a light on Cuba to find a way to protect them the best way we can. I know that some of you may sympathize with some of the things you might have heard over the years about Cuba. You know, their famous free education, free health care. The reality is quite different. What we were given was a mediocre ed education with a huge helping of indoctrination in a healthcare system that is so bad that today they can't even find tires for an ambulance and yet they spend millions on new riot gear, police cars to repress their people. Meanwhile, the military elite drives around in fancy capitalist cars, invests in businesses in and outside of the country while they're asking people to submit to socialism, to live in misery. I hope that you find the time and the energy to help us. We really need your help. Thank you.